dumb, cool, weird podcast. Okay, so basically we've been gone for a couple of weeks, uh, mainly because I was sick. Uh, Nick was actually sick too, and we were also in Vegas for the AVN Awards. A f- mutual friend of ours was uh, uh, like having like a – basically he was up to win something. Turns out that they snubbed his ass, and it was bullshit. It was some bullshit shit. You know what? Hopefully we get to go again next year though. <laughs> oh, no, we're definitely going again next year. Um, by the way, we watched – Spaceballs. Spaceballs the movie. Which is a parody of mostly Star Wars, but also Alien, also Indiana Jones, and also Star Trek. Yeah. Captain Lone Star is dressed like Indiana Jones the whole time. Yep, and they ride around in that Winnebago. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out why they just decided to make uh, John Candy wear the uh, mechanic suit. Like, was that a character from something we should have known? Um, You know... Looking back on it, it might have been a reference to Alien, maybe. I might don't have know. been. I right. mean, I'm not really sure, but yeah. I love how they got the same actor at the end of the, like at that diner scene yeah. to redo his part where the xenomorph pops out of his chest. Except- yeah, he's like, hey, it's uh, not again. <laughs> oh, no. Not again. <laughs> yeah. I, you know... I liked all the interactions. Uh, you know, my, my, my favorite interactions in the movie, uh, obviously Pizza the Hut and Vinny talking oh God, to talking to Lone Star and Barf, you know, you know. Pizza's gonna take out for you. Well for this and Lone Star and his sidekick puke. puke. By the way, that was Dom DeLuise's Pizza the Hut. They really did a great job on the costume there. Like molting cheese and pepperonis falling off of them. Yeah, it was fucking disgusting, but I it's love terrible. it. Terrible. <laughs> It's like the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. But I, but I'll tell you this. Um, one of the things I really loved about um, this movie is I love how they really paid attention to detail to make it look like uh, an actual Star Wars movie. It's pretty impressive, along with the yeah the scrolling of the the, the titles, <laughs> episode yeah. episode eighteen, or just the uh, <laughs> yeah it's episode episode eighteen part eleven. Yeah. Um. It it. I don't know, like, I think I told you this, but uh, I think I read somewhere that a lot of the miniatures and the VFX work was, like, a lot of the same people that helped out with Star Wars and George Lucas and all that. Yeah, you did tell me that. It makes perfect sense, though. I yeah. love it. I mean... But, you know, that opening scene with the with the spaceship, like, the yeah. big spaceship, that's actually, uh, that's actually making fun of Alien. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, so, Alien was a great movie. Though. It really was. You know, it's funny. When I was a kid, I always thought this was just like a parody of Star Wars. But like watching it as an adult several oh, yeah, times over, you, you could tell, you could see the influence from Alien. You could see the influence from Indiana Jones. And you can also see, honestly, they even threw a, like a Wizard of Oz reference in there. Yeah, when they went to Pizza, no, it's a <laughs> Yogurt's uh, cat, uh, little... Yeah, when they go to fake Tatooine. Yeah, fake Tatooine. <laughs> yeah. You know what, though? That would suck, right? You, you're you crash landing on a planet, and if you – either way, if you got, like, a planet that was as cold as Hoth or a planet as hot and desertous as Tatooine, you'd be like, fuck, I'm already dead. Yeah, you never land on an indoor, do you? No, no. Like, you know, with, like, teddy bears that are 400 pounds and <laughs> have the throwing capabilities of – like a fucking athlete. Yeah, you never you never get that, you know. You either land on a fucking desert planet, you either land on a cold planet or you get stuck on a death star looking thing. Or you get really unlucky and you get stuck in the swamp lands of Oh yeah. Of, uh, what, what, where's, what, where was that Yoda from? Uh well that that's just where that's just where Yoda like wanted to like do Hang his, out. Well, he wanted his isolation there, but that was a fucking nasty planet, a fucking swamp planet. Like, you'd have swamp ass, like, 24 fucking 7, dude. Yeah, I was like, oh, I just want to be isolated here. Why? Mm-hmm. You could have picked anywhere else. By the way, folks, um, just so you know, the whole, the whole like, uh, structure of the podcast has changed a little bit. We've done it again, and it's mainly just because we, we think this is more interesting. But we're basically just talking. We're not, we're not going to go over the, an overview of the story again. We just want to, like, talk about parts, parts of the like. movie that we just really thought were Which, funny. Which, I mean, I mean, to be fair, though, this whole movie is funny. I mean, from the prison oh, yeah. break... <laughs> Happen to get the end. Hey, no parking here. And the sign says Monday through Friday, Monday through Sunday, twelve, 12 a.m. to twelve a.m. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny. And then I also liked it when they jammed the uh, 
Oh God! Well, yeah. yeah, well, see the the whole part like my one I love of my how fr- the camera crew was so interactive. Yeah, with the with the with like they were always like interacting with the with the actual actors. It's so funny, but also I really just love everything with the Spaceballs crew. You know, yeah, like the assholes with the cross eyed, and then <laughs> <laughs> that was a now that was a great play mm-hmm. on why stormtroopers and the Imperial mm-hmm. Army couldn't shoot. Absolutely, and then I also love how like um you know. The thing about Mel Brooks is he really makes fun of Jewish people a lot, you know, which is funny because I, I like people that can make fun of themselves. And um, he really did it a lot. Yeah, he really <laughs> he really like went hard on that shit. And I just think that's so fucking hilarious because I like it. I like people that can laugh at themselves. Well, you it's know? like uh, it's like with Bla- his movie Blazing Saddles. He made fun of everybody. You can't oh, yeah. even do that today. No, you can't. Uh, most of this, most of his movies you can't do. Uh, we're going to watch Robin Hood Men in Tights at some point. Um, and that's it. That that one does a lot of that too. Yeah, that's right. Oh, a Druish princess. That's all we needed. <laughs> she doesn't look like she's Druish. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, um, he painted himself with gold. <laughs> oh my god! And he's wa- like when he's yogurt. He paint yeah, he paints himself on gold, and he's walking on his knees. You can see his legs from yeah. the long robe. Yeah, that's so funny. And then. Um, it's just funny how like uh, he's always just like trying to sell something too. When he's like, he's like, oh, we got the, we got the lunchbox, we got the <laughs> we got the breakfast cereal, the t-shirts, the yeah. flamethrower. The kids really love this one. Yeah. <laughs> and then I love how he plays two characters in the movie. He plays he plays President Scrooge and he also plays uh, Yogurt. It's kind of funny. I love when uh, I love when that uh, la- that uh, lady keeps calling him up at the most inappropriate times just to see his dick. Yep. Scroob. But let's let's talk about Dark Helmet, man. I mean, I Dark love Helmet. I love Rick Moranis, dude. He's a, he's an amazing actor, you Absolutely. know. Absolutely. And he uh he fucking killed this role. I mean, he's just so fucking hilarious cuz he's like when he has the helmet down, he's like this menacing character like Vader, but then when he pulls <laughs> it up, he becomes like a comic relief. Yeah, he becomes a nerd. Yeah, the nerd. Uh, and then I like the scene where they're on the desert planet and they're combing it. And then it, and it cuts <laughs> to the black guys and they have like the, the, afro, the pick. afro pick and they go, we haven't seen shit. We ain't found mm. shit. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Funny. I think I told you this, but that actor that, that said that, that's, that's, he plays Tuvok on uh, Vo- Star Trek Voyager. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's pretty funny. It's true. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of weird references, but um, that was before that though. I love when they jammed the radar. Yeah. The radar. It appears to be jammed. Yeah, they got my. So, uh, <laughs> went, uh, I think they call him Michael. His name's Michael Winslow. He does all the like the noises. I think my yeah. I think Michael Winslow. Mm. Are you sure Michael Winslow wasn't the dad from Family Matters? Uh, that's Carl Winslow. Okay, same difference. <laughs> both were cops. Yes, they were. That's actually true. They both were cops. That is pretty funny. Police Academy. <laughs> and actually, uh, his name's Reginald. Um, What's his last name? I forget his last name, but that actor played a cop in fucking Die Hard. Yeah. And there's a joke that Die Hard him and um, Family Matters him are actually the same person. They're both Carl Winslow. Yeah, we should watch. Uh, we should definitely watch Die Hard when we get a chance. But yeah, we'll definitely check that out too. I, I still love it when he's like when they how many fourth wall breaks happen, especially when it came to the uh, the jamming thing. He's like, there's only one man who dare gives me the raspberry. Pulls down the face shield. Lone Star! And just gets cracked right in the face by the camera. Yeah. And then this, this is subordinate moves out of the way. <laughs> but they, Colonel you know. Sanders. And then I love it how they even added in a Transformers joke. Because it's the 80s. You got to throw that in there. Yeah. And their ship turns into a maid and sucks up all the air. Mega maid. She's gone from suck to blow. <laughs> yeah. What's really funny, though, is... Um, Princess Vespa's like planet is um is like stuck in the Middle Ages. Like your dad has a powdered wig, and they <laughs> they literally live in like like a medieval looking setting. Yeah, but they have all the air. Yeah, but they have all the air. I, I love how uh, at the end he's like he's like a uh, president's group's like oh that's gonna be ten thousand years of fresh air, and Rick Moranis looks at Colonel Sanders and he's like. The way he's running it, it won't last a hundred. Nope. Um, His autobiography said, "Don't blame me." <laughs> yeah, and then I love how at the very end of the movie, um, they make a Planet of the Apes joke. Oh yeah, that was great. 
Yeah. They got the guy, uh, that one guy that always plays like snooty ass characters in movies. I think it's funny. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, um, yeah, Spaceballs is a funny movie. It's, uh, you know, if you really like John Candy, you like Rick Moranis, you like yeah. Bill Pullman, um, you know, Mel Brooks. I mean, it's, it's a good fucking movie. It's a classic. I would say that Spaceballs, along with, uh, Probably along with uh, Dracula, well, Dr- uh, uh, Dracula Dead and Loving It, and then I also really love Robin Hood Men and Tights. Those are like my three favorite Mel Brooks movies. Um, I've also like, I like Young Frankenstein, but, you know, I didn't really watch Young Frankenstein until I was like older, so it's not as special, I guess. Yeah, I see. I would, I would definitely say my second favorite is going to be Blazing Saddles. Yeah, that's a good one. I mean, I like it too. I just, those three movies like really are special to me. I guess uh, Dracula dead and loving it. You gotta, we gotta watch that too. Yeah. It's totally a spoof of the Gary Oldman, um, <laughs> like Francis Ford Coppola. That um, sounds Dracula. good. Yeah. Now, and that, that sounds great. We, we definitely have to get through all the Mel Gibson movies if we can. Mel Brooks. Mel, well, Mel Gibson too. Yeah. We'll watch Mel Gibson movie, but you, yeah. I, I, wait, I think Mel Gibson doesn't like the Mel, the Mel Brooks people, you know, after his, uh, drunken escapade oh, in my his God. car. Jesus. <laughs> But um, anyway, um, yeah, so, you know, if you have a chance, you should totally watch it. So let's talk about the dumb, cool, and weird about this movie. Okay. Um, so what was, uh, what was dumb about this movie? <laughs> I mean, the whole movie's a spoof, so. So it's dumb. It's, it's pretty, the whole thing's pretty dumb. Yeah, that's true. But I mean, it's like a. I mean, the whole premise is pretty. I, the, I, guess, I guess the whole premise is kind of dumb. I mean, like. Lone Star and his buddy are just these two fucking idiots that are like riding around in a fucking like Winnebago, Winnebago with shag carpet yeah. and beer crushed beer cans. Yeah, and aesthetic. <laughs> and the thing is, what's also stupid, we have no idea why he borrowed a hundred thousand space bucks from Pizza the Hut anyway. They never really yeah. specify that. How did that happen? Yeah, it's a dumb fucking premise, dude. But you know, it's, it works. But it's it's fucking hilarious. You know. You know what is dumb though? What they had a self destruct button. <laughs> on their Death Star. And it says, don't push it unless you really want to. Really, really mean it. Yeah. <laughs> unless you really, really mean it. You yeah, really mean it. That was, like, dumb. And the fact that they don't have, like, a cancellation button that works. Yep. That's even better. Yep. Yeah, that was that was really dumb. Yeah. Um, What was uh, cool about this movie? Mm. Honestly, I think the thing that was cool about the movie was, Lo- was Captain Lone Star and Barf. Yeah. I mean, I, I agree with that. I think, um, I you know what I think it's is really too, cool. It's like you said, they're two, they're two dudes just going through space, like they're just space bums. They live in a Winnebago that flies and empty beer cans all over the fucking floor. I mean, they're like the college dudes who never grew up. Yeah, what I, what I think is really cool is the is the fact that um, uh, sorry, I lost my train of thought. Super fucking tired. Um. I was going to say what I th- what I think was really fucking cool was the way that they designed the, the set design and oh, stuff. Yeah. The way they did like the makeup effects, all that was fucking phenomenal. They did a great job. With I that. mean, you know, especially like when they land on the planet, they did a really cool job, like making it look like they're on another planet. It's really cool. I also thought it was really cool how they had like 80s music because it's, you know, during the 80s, but they had like a bunch of ballads and that oh, like yeah. kind of. Like made the movie sound really cool. They had a, they had a great soundtrack. That was pretty cool about yeah. it. But um, yeah, that was cool. And then weird. I mean, shit. We could talk about a lot of weird. Pizza things. the Hut. Yeah, Pizza the Hut was weird. It is like atrociously weird. Yep. And then how he dies is weird. He gets trapped in his fucking stretch limo, and he literally eats himself to death. Like, how did he get trapped? Mm-hmm. What did he do? Lock himself in somehow? He's well, inside. He doesn't really have hands, so he probably can't unlock the door. How did he eat himself? He doesn't have hands. He can't. How does he eat himself? That's a good question. Do you think Vinny ate him? Well, Vinny was taking a bite out of him earlier. Yeah. You're delicious. <laughs> Boss, you're delicious. <laughs> <laughs> that was weird. He's like licking the side of him and everything. Oh, you know what else is weird? When they go to that fucking diner at the end and then Oh yeah. And they, then they, and then the guy and then the guy from, from Alien. Alien like he, he fucking he like busts out of his stomach and he goes, Oh, not again. <laughs> you know what I still think though? That, that I think that also goes in the cool category that they got the guy who actually did that scene in the alien movies yeah. to redo that. Absolutely. Yeah, I also thought it was fucking weird how they incorporated Planet of the Apes in there somehow. 
Um, yeah, that was weird. But no Dr. Zayas. Yeah, you'd think Dr. Zayas would show up and be like, we got to kill the space balls. Yeah. It was, it was weird because, like, it seemed like they were also using the, – it looks like they used some of the original, like, makeup, like, oh, yeah. molds and stuff from Planet of the Apes. That's actually pretty weird. <laughs> that is very odd, actually. They just had that shit laying around. Yeah, just, like, laying around somewhere. Um, you got any more of that face makeup from Planet of the Apes? I guess oh, yeah. we do, Mr. Brooks. Yeah, say less. We got that. We'll hook that up. But uh, yeah, that was Spaceballs. Uh, definitely check it out. Um, I know, I know. Like, I'm excited to watch more Mel Brooks movies. How about you, Nick? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I love them. Oh yeah. So um, you know, we've been gone for a little while. We're back. We're gonna try to have regular shows again, and you know, we have stuff on Mondays, and sometimes we'll have stuff on Wednesdays. It's just random stuff on Wednesdays or, or once in a while, way back Wednesdays. Uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, you We're know, getting back in the swing of things. Yeah, try to try to you know tell your friends about us. We're gonna start advertising more. We're gonna create more like physical advertisements, like with stickers and stuff. We're gonna start putting them in places again. So dumb, cool, weird. The podcast, dumb, cool, weird. The T-shirt, dumb, cool, weird. The flamethrower. Yeah, the kids like that one. They love that one. Yeah. So we're uh, gonna sign out. Sign us out, Nick. All right. Stay sexy, Atlanta. Because we're back in Atlanta, bitch. Bitch. Thanks for checking out the Dumb Cool Weird Podcast. We're a movie podcast now, so Movie Monday is every Monday about crappy movies from the 20th century. It's going to be great, folks. I can't wait to show y'all.